Hey guys, welcome back. We have made it back to the Waking Sands. And uh, here he is once again, the traitor, Orianja. I have heard great tidings from Ogaro, my friends. By the grace of the Twelve, you are most val valiant, valiant efforts. The people of Limsel Minza must rest at ease. I should think so, yes. Though we failed to prevent the Lord of Crags from being from manifesting, we did succeed in weakening him, enabling Strife to dispatch him before the war's darkness could make things worse. It was by no means an unmanifest success. Now let us speak of another matter, one which was heavy on my lady's mind. As thou did request, I sought out the Gali the Grian oracles. And that might better understand the aim of the Warriors of Darkness. Though their copies of the Allegi defer any single interpretation, the oracles paint a most disturbing picture. One of the worlds parallel to our own are yet linked, reduced to ruin, with every umbral calamity. Seven times they have succeeded, then... Ten of thirteen, only six worlds remain? I, all this, my lady Menphilia, spake unto thee. As for what becometh of the reflections when they of source are rejoined? Fuck me, what the fuck? Uh, flurry flesh, undo the umbral fires, each soul surrendered. Ah, surrend surrendereth to her call, to follow unto the endless sea. There is there to endure as one and none. Then, then if the warrior of darkness succeed, everyone in their world will die. Uh, in in es essence, eh, I. Uh, vanish speaketh and re recontinueth <laughs> of the fleshith and subquenteth returneth to the life streameth. Uh, apparently, a life stream is not actually of like like not meant to be there or something. I don't know. My my friend was ta talking about it. It was like a translation error to begin with, and it's just the ethereal sea. Like it's known as the ethereal sea, and it's not like. The life stream is just a byproduct of Final Fantasy, you know. However, this fate may yet be preferable to the alternative, for it is first we are to fall to transit light into manner of the warriors of darkness. Described it would give away unto the void, wherein none may know ever life or death. Far better to die for any for thy reason. In death there is life, the essence of a soul, which returneth unto the sourceth, may be borneth and doeth, saved such if at last is there beliefeth, I surmiseth. So it is true then that the gods is no should ever make such a choice. Ah, uh, we speak further on the subject. If I would share if a free if another recent discovery of. Sure. Towards. To it would seem the several sizable shipments of crystals have been delivered into the hands of certain Alamegan parties. Alamegans? Strange. And you believe, and you believe this to be the work of the same Ishgardian smugglers who supplied the beast tribes. I know beyond the, I, I know beyond if a shadow of, of a doubt if, at least if thou wondereth at the motive if, I would remind you that the Arsians if, did not attempt if to bring if. About the summoning of Ralga, if the individuals who took recent 
Receipt of the shipments are refugees belonging to a group devoted to the cause of the Alamegan liberation. It may also interest thee to know that the Ishgardian suppliers appear to be none other than the remnants of the Elise Royale network of spies. Surely you jest, and yet it's not surprising. Beneath the leadership and the haunted of the by the Alliance, I can imagine such villains being desperate enough to conspire with the Asians, assuming they even know or care who their employees are. All of which are irrelevant. Forgive me, we must seek out the resistance group, which can relieve the crystals without delay. Strife, Alize, I will come with will you come with me to Little Amigo? Sure, buddy. Let's head to Little Amigo. Yes, of course. I should take to hear what they have to say for themselves first hand. May you ever walk in the light. Of the crystal. Of course. Of course, Uriadja. I'm gonna kill you. You know that? If it turns out you're not double agenting and you're actually just straight up on their fucking side, I'm gonna kill you. Alphanad, Elise, Strife, are you listening? Are you free to listen? Oh, it's Fancred. Um, it needs to be like a real handsome voice. I mean, I suppose I could just use my own voice. <laughs> Sorry. Alphanad, at least say, Strife, are you are you for listening? Good. I have tidings. The Temple Knights raised the smugglers without warehouse less than an hour ago. A the interrogation of the prisoners yielded confirmation that they were of the employee of, and I hope you're all sitting down for this, a man in black robes. You have them? And the crystals too? Well, what few remained, I regularly... It would seem they dispatched one final shipment in the final hours before we struck. Uh, Twas bound for Little Alamigo, we were told. They were. It was received by members of the Loyal Resistance Group. Since Sir Emmerich's men no longer have need of my services, I have a mind to head that way. As we are happy a coincidence, we have learned the shipments but few moments ago. Ha! Then I was thinking that we might finally be one step ahead of the Warrior of Light and his little helpers. Ah, oh, you guys are my little helpers. I'll name you Dancer and you Prancer. Ah, wait a moment. There's more. And defy, defy you not to be surprised by this revelation. The leader of the, of the Ishgardian smugglers, we formerly were in the employee of Ile Rollet. The infamous Ivy herself. Once again, Fancred, I fear I must inform you that. Fan Fancred, whom else have you shared this information? About the smugglers? No one. I think I mentioned the raid was less than an hour ago. I was planning to contact your soldier next. But there's someone else you would have me notify first? No, there isn't. Elise? Hello? Hello? Elise? She hung up on me. Alphanad, where are we going, buddy? What in the world has gone into her? It is twice now that she has sought Oriana's aid, and twice that she had threatened him as though she were treated him as though she was a stranger. The Archon was one of Grandfather's most disciplined pupils, and spent as much time at the Livier estate as we did. He precisely is a member, he's practically a member of the family. Truth be told, I have struggled to recall the day from my childhood when I did not see the three of them laughing together. If this continues, I may have to ra raise this matter later. No, little amigo awaits. Okay, dude, lead the way. Off you go. Uh, we'll just teleport there because we're lazy. We could we could run there. In fact, I know I know a few people from the FC who do run everywhere to save to save the old gill. Fuck that, man. <laughs> if you want to run places, well, more power to you. But I play the FF11. I'm done running. <laughs> I'm done running. I'm teleporting as much as I fucking can. Holy shit. 
one too many trips to Juno ended in disgrace upon like the, seeing the bridge and dying. No thank you. We'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, forgive me. That's been a long day. Did you have something you wanted to say? Here we are, Jeff. Oh, I've always struggled to understand what's going on inside his head. Now more than ever. Uh, listen, Jeff, if anything should happen, it should be who... What? It should be me who just know that I'm prepared to do what must be done. Right then. More pressing matters since we have no idea when Thancred might arrive, I suggest we see what information we can gather in his absence. Okay, it's got a picture. It's an important one. When we were free. So, to review the fairly reliable information of the members of the Alamegan Resistance operating here, taking receipt of several large shipments of crystals, a task being an Asian, who or why? I don't know why the Asians mailing crystals around. I'm sure, sure they have reasons. Well, I mean, we know why he's doing it. They're selling it to the Alamigos because they will Alamig the Alamigan resistance wants the Alamigo back, but they can't. They're stuck in this freaking shithole of a cave they call fucking Little Alamigo. They want their own home back, Alamigo, and to get their own home back, they're going to summon their primal because that's just what they do. Given the size of the shipment, I find it hard to believe that anyone here could have possibly been aware of the resistance movements. The change of course may be finding individuals who are both able and willing to share such information with outsiders. It would be seem sensible to divide our forces, Strife. Why don't you question the, resist the residents in the eastern half of town, as I and I will do the same in the west. And afterwards, we can rendezvous here and share our findings. Sure, I'll head east. Go east! I'm not sure that's the song. It might be. Does it go west? Go west! Go east! It's definitely west, it has to be. East sounds wrong. Yo, Autarian! Eh? The resistance? Damned if I know. If I'm not as. If I'm not as being very used to them. <coughs> uh, if I said so by all these tales of the secret weapons. Good luck to you, though. But I'm too old to make Mark's bedtime story. Bed to the I'm too old for the masks. Masks. Bedtime stories. This is a lot. It's time we got used to it. No, don't say that. I'll take. I'll retake Alamigo. I'll do it. Don't you fucking worry. We're gonna retake Alamigo. Hello. Ah, let me guess. Come to join the fight, have you? No need to deny it, friend. You're the first to answer the Griffin's call. While he is a fine fire in every Alamigan's heart, he's also inspired more than a few Uldarians to pledge themselves to the cause. A little wonder that the Galleons won't stop until they've all under the yoke. What, you think this is on the secret of the sun? I'm from fucking Uldar? You racist? I might be racist. I'm not sure if that's true. Yo, Tailbolt. I see you're going around asking questions. Looking for the griffins and all his lot. I'll bet. Hmm. Seems they talk of little amigo these days. Folk wondering what he's about. And sure, the galleons and under that mask of his. Some say he might hardly got a face. What? <laughs> he's hardly got a face? What with all the scars? Over and reckon he might have been masked for death by the Empire. He'd be sending a bloody legion if he knew. That's why his sort. I guess. Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, so the Griffin's Call. White Mask. And we know from the picture there was a dude in the white hood and the white mask. Is that the man on the moon, perhaps? Or the man that was in the moon? Who knows? Who bloody knows? Yo, Alpha Node. I suppose I should ask what you've learned, but I already know. Yeah, some racist thought I was from Uldar. I mean, he's not wrong. Well, actually, he is wrong. I'm from... I'm technically from... Actually, uh, where am I from? I 
think I'm actually technically from Grisdania. So, <laughs> I don't know, who knows. Yes, his griffin character seems to be the leader of a newly formed revolutionary faction within the Resistance. The Maskets. The Masks. Oh, shit. Yet, despite their growing popularity, no one seems to know much about them. Only that they're most aggressively ma malignant, mal militant group to join the movement in recent memory. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know memory was going to come up. Indeed, they may claim continent, of course. Father Megan's liberation is unrivaled. We, we cannot but hope their revolutionary favour is never claimed in the direction of a primal. Of course it's going to be set in the direction of a primal. Why wouldn't it be set in the direction of a primal? Don't be so fucking stupid, Alphanard. Yeah, you want me to go that way, huh? All right. Gondolabad. Yo, Gondolabad. Oh, it's you! Gondubald. Sup, buddy? I think we helped you stop a primal beforehand. Much as it pleases me to see you again, Strife, I cannot help but wonder if I should be worried. I hear you and your has been uh, you and your friends here have been asking questions. The Griffin? Aye, I know of him. As do we all. He and his masks have been be have become the leading faction within the resistance. Though there was speculation at first. Given the secretive ways he quickly provided himself with a charismatic and capable commander, men are drawn to his passion, his vision. They truly believe that he is what it takes to lead them back to victory. Even though I had, can't help but admire the man for what he has accomplished, but I have not forgotten the wild world and blinded by danger of his ambitions. And you were not. The Griffin will soon develop. D -d 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 deliver the speech to our people in the sunken temple of Quan. Go, go see him with your own eyes. Why, his words with your own heart. Sure. How convenient. Tis but a pity Fankry is not here to join us. Oh, sorry, someone else talking. You two go on ahead. I'll stay behind and wait for him. Okie dokie, Elise. If you stay here, come, Fankrid. Let us be off. I will ride Blaziken to the capable place of, uh, where is it? Up here, just above the Ring of Ash. Uh, oh bugger, I've gone the wrong way. Can we get through here? I think we can. We'll be alright. You know what, this might have been even quicker. This might have been a quicker direction I meant to do this. Oh, I'm so, so smart and talented. Broken water, huh? Ooh. Okay. So we're going back to the Sunken Temple of Quan, which we've already been back before. If it says do Sunken Temple of Quan normal, I'm gonna fucking kill something. Like, like, <laughs> like no way, I'm not doing it. I'm sure it will just be a cutscene because it's, it's in the trailer, isn't it? Uh, has it has it begun already? I hear voices coming from within. Oh, well, in we go then, Alphanard. In we bloody go. We're going to be late. We're going to miss the keynote speech. Brothers and sisters. 20 years ago, Alamigo, our home, was claimed by the Galian Empire. In our haste to overthrow the King of Ruin, we turned a blind eye to our foes in the north. With our glorious revolution, we but laid a path for a new tyrant to succeed the old. And when confronted with our failure, we fled. Not a day goes by that I do not think of those we left behind. Think of them and feel ashamed. And I know each and every one of you feels the same. We abandoned them 
our own flesh and blood, to labor till their backs gave in and their breath gave out, building the twisted steel ramparts which now mar our once majestic mountains. We abandon them, the brave and true, to fight and die for their country. Or worse, to be conscripted and sent off to rob another poor bastard of his home. We abandon them, the meek and powerless, to bow and scrape when the Galleons pass. To sully themselves that they might live to see another day of misery. The Black Wolf may be dead, but a new Imperial Viceroy reigns in Alamigo now. A beast, not a fraction as merciful. You all know the Aeorzean Alliance will do naught to oppose him. For all their promises and platitudes, they will not act if there's no profit in it. Only we can free our brothers and sisters from the Empire's tyranny, my friends. Only we have the courage to stand and fight. They have imprisoned us. They have enslaved us. And they have murdered us. But no more. Blood demands blood, and the Garleans shall pay for every drop they have spilt upon our lands. This I promise you, for we have a power within us, my friends. A power befitting our pride, our righteousness. Only join us, and we shall grant you the means to unleash it, and together we shall see the Alamegan standard raised over the mountains of Gear Arbania once more! A power befitting their pride. Not at all ominous, that. No, not at all. I think it's probably fine now, lad. We're probably good. Probably fine. Wait, is that... What the fuck? What are you two doing here? What the fuck are you two doing here? Well, I mean, I know why you're here, but... I could ask you the same thing. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Well, well, this is quite the surprise. It did. If you see what I see, if you feel as I feel... Might I suggest we continue this conversation in more agreeable surroundings? Sure, but I lead the way. Or oh, I'll lead the way. Come along. It's always the ladder fell lagging behind. It's got short legs, bless him. It, can't, it, it takes more effort to run. It takes more energy. Words cannot express how glad I am to see you both alive and well. And you! I thought it was pretty obvious you and Strife would be fine. The Crystal Braves never had a realistic chance capturing any of the Scions. Decided, devised that we were disturbed by a better part of Eorzea. So they, they've gone to help with their existence. We do this for a while. Is But does that truly believe that? Forgive me. What exactly have you been do doing all this time? Uh, repaying the favor. After the banquet, we had no choice but to flee or die, and we would have we would have to be able to do so without the aid of some old friends from the resistance. That's right. They smuggled us out of the city, sheltered us in little Alamigo, all at great risk to themselves, obviously. We fought to let let that go, and not unacknowledged. Look at that. <laughs> so we were offered to help them in the operations for a while. When we learned of the Asaya's expiration, that Lorello had served all ties with the Crystal Braves, 
the gen and that General Ruben had resigned has restated was resolved or oh, reinstated there you go. Reinstated we were we resolved there you go. To make conflict. But I uh, having long since detached our link pearls as pers as per persecu persecutionally measure as okay, yeah, to protect themselves. That's fine. I'm aware, I'm following it, I'm following it. That word was a little bit hard at the beginning, I got it though. It's fine. Don't mock me. Sorry, go on. <laughs> To make matters worse, more complicated, we were... <laughs> See how I'm like ad-libbing now? I'm just cutting things out, straight out. <laughs> Fuck it, let's just ad-lib. To make things worse, we were elaborated to declare the operation at the time, leaving this little choice but to entrust the letter to the courier. I gather the puzzled expressions, however, that you never got the letter. No, didn't get a letter, buddy. <laughs> To be honest, I thought this might happen. Whilst we, whilst masks are happy to let refugees spread the word of the community and pretty strict about communicating with outsiders. Oh, I also heard a rumor that Griffin doesn't want us meddling in his affairs. The Griffin mis mistrusts the signs of the Seven Dawn. Oh yes, very so. Curious, well known that we are no friends of the Galland Empire. One would think that we would saw him beseeching the study to join the cause. Ah, you, sh you would think that, but in fact, Griffin but is an imposter. Is an impo is poster. A talented rabble roster to boost. It would not surprise me if he was reliable. In the majority of... <sighs> Fucking reliable. Reliable, that's what I said. I said reliable, not responsible. I said reliable. Responsible for the majority of the public appreciations. Fucking my brain sometimes. I get so angry at it. I get so fucking mad. As you may have gathered, Griffin is extremely curious and, disturb and disturbing man who has made every effort to conceal his identity. Yeah, no, we noticed. It's hard now, and make it all the secrecy, the impersonators of the masks yeah so you're saying that they're like there's not just one you're saying there's multiple of them what I'm making off when we wear one and mine only covers half my face it's completely different sure what do you say what do you say princess anyway we had that Griffin do just take give a speech here we thought we might a good opportunity to get a better sense of the man behind the Better sense of the man. For it good it did. And you have heard the whole thing, the whole of it. But tell me, who prompted you to te to take an interest in the Griffin? Uh, Fancred, I guess. Well, Oriadja technically, but Fancred also told us. Something you're not serious. I can't believe it. The resistance would never, never entertain such a ridiculous plan. But the Griffin. Well, the man is an enigma. Is an enig is an enigma. An enigma. That's a hard word to say. <laughs> enigma. There you go. Said it. Did it. Do it. Cannot say a confidence what he would do. Yeah, he's gonna summon it. He's gonna shove the shit out of it. Impossible. We are all alluding to the primal. Yep. Big old primal. Whatever it is, I'll find out together. If anyone tries to stop us, they'll answer to me. Yeah, good job, Yana. Indeed. That is assuming you'll have us. So I get to say, fuck off. <laughs> fucking, what do you mean fucking Link Pearl? Link Pearl busted. Fuck you all about. What you Link Pearl busted me? Fuck's sake. Right, what's this next one called? Honorable Heroes. So next time, guys, we'll be doing Honorable Heroes. Has a mind to lead Griffin's true intentions. We're gonna get ourselves a delicious uh, 500 get. <laughs> yes, a delicious Longferin Cordon Blue. Mm, very yummy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. As always, there are buttons down below for you to press if you are so inclined. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.